So you welcome to another session of the ATU Library Tutorial Series. This tutorial is basically going to cover how or an easy way of reviewing literature using this AI tool that is a research rabbit. Okay, it's pretty simple to use, um, very good tool that will help you in getting related articles in um, or that will help you in reviewing your literature actually. So I'll show you the interface, how um, Research Rabbit actually works. And um, you will go through the basics. Then um, as time progresses, we move on to the advanced aspect of using uh, Research Rabbit. Okay, so let's um, start with something. Okay, so you open your browser and um, you start by searching. Okay, so let's go to Google first. All right, then we have research rabbit. So that's what we have over here, research rabbit. Okay, so you click on this link. All right, so basically, um, if you if you don't have an account, it means that you have to sign up. And um, if you have an account, so it means that you have to just log in. I, I already do have an account, so I'll just go ahead and log in and demonstrate to you how you can use Research Rabbit. So let me log in. All right, so there are some works that I have already. Um, I have some works in the research rabbits. That's what you are seeing over here, but I'm going to delete it so that uh, you really understand what actually goes on when it comes to research rabbits. So I'm deleting this. Okay. So I'm going to take you through what the uh, collection actually means when it comes to research rabbits. Then uh, we'll discuss what we have over here. That is art papers. We also talk about um, similar work, earlier work, and also later work. So that is what we are going to cover for uh, for this tutorial, okay? All right, so let's start with new collection. New collection basically means that, um, let's say you are researching something under any topic, let's say employee motivation, job satisfaction, let's say something on waste management. So you are a researcher and um, let's say you are researching into these areas. It means that you have to download some articles, create folder on your desktop and start pushing the articles into respective folders. So let's say you have a folder and that folder bears um, the study that you are doing, let's say waste management. And when you open the folder, all the articles that you are going to see in that folder relates to waste management. That is what is called collection over here. So you are going to build a collection when it comes to um, research rabbits, okay? So let's say I'm doing a study on employee motivation. So I have to go ahead and click on new collection. Now I come to this side, I raise it and type employee motivation. Okay, I go outside the box and I click on okay. All right, good. So that's what I have over here, employee motivation. Now my employee motivation collection is actually empty. So it means that I have to add some papers to it. So I'll go ahead and click on add papers. All right, now this section, you are supposed to enter a keyword. It's like, it's similar to that of uh, searching a particular article uh, when you open um, a database like Taylor and Francis, um, IEEE, Sage, and so forth. So you are supposed to enter keyword or let's say, if you really know the title of a particular article and you want to search by that, you can go ahead and enter the title. Moreover, we also have the big text and also the RIS. This is actually the advanced aspect. In our subsequent tutorial, we are going to cover that aspect, okay? So let me still use um, my collection name as my keyword, okay? So we have employee motivation, okay? So now this is what we have. Um, the default one is um, 
your search is based on all subject areas. If you are doing something that is science related, I would advise that you click on the uh, bio, uh, biomedical and also life uh, sciences so that you get um, the search will be based from that particular field. That this one is general, and what we are searching for is not actually a uh, science related something. Okay. Now, when you visit any um, database and you are searching for articles, you realize that, um, let's say you are searching something on um, job stress, okay? And uh, the result that comes out, you realize that there are some articles that will be related to what you are searching for, but some articles will not be directly related and therefore you will not be going for such articles. So what you see over here are a list of articles that you have to select that is select those ones that is related to what you are studying or what you want to do research about. So if I search, I'm searching for employee motivation and this article looks pretty good, I'll just click on add to my collection. So, so it's added to my collection. If this one is also good, I click on add to my collection. So for demonstration purposes, let me just go ahead and click on add to collection. Um, that is for demonstration purposes, but you have to go through them and actually uh, select the one that you feel like, okay, this one is pretty good and it will help my study. So let's add, let's say three more. So add this one to my collection. I also have this one. Let me go ahead and click on this. And let's choose this one as our final one. Okay. All right. So we are done. So um, I presume that these are uh, the articles that are really uh, that are really more important to my keyword that is uh, employee uh, motivation. Okay. Now, when you are done, you just close it, and we have the collections or what we selected. We have them over here. And you also have some reading information over here, some information over here, which uh, I'm going to explain these things to you, okay? Right, now, if you think that uh, you want to add more papers, you can click on this one um, and still go ahead. And so we have employees to employee motivation. So, it searches again, then uh, you can just go ahead and add more. Yes, so if you really want to add more, so you can go ahead and be clicking as many as you want to add based on what you've seen. Okay, all right. So let's click on this too. Okay, all right. Cool. So we can just go ahead and close this as we demonstrated earlier on okay all right so this is what we have actually and um the information that we have over here we also have some information over here now with respect to um the the content that is the collection that we have selected um the information over here is saying that um we have similar work that is actually um 980 uh, similar works in relation to what we have selected over here. That is, uh, this is our general basket. And um, what we have over here, we also have something, we have earlier works related to that, and also we have later work. So actually the earlier and the later work uh, is in relation to who is citing who or who cites who. Yes, basically, that is what we mean. And the similar work could be that, okay, a particular work is not directly related to this, but it's going to give you everything that is um, related to what we have over here. However, this information that we are seeing over here uh, is, a, is a total from what we have over here. You can be doing a individual selection for you to know the breakdown of what we have over here. Okay, all right. Now, let's go straight to uh, the earlier work, later work, then I'll come back to the similar way, okay? So with what we have over here, with what we have in our collection, these things, when I click on earlier work, all right, so this is what you are seeing. So you realize that um, we have some green circles. We have some green circles, that is pretty good. All right, now 
these green circles are the ones that are in your collection. These green circles are the ones that, um, yes, these ones, the ones that are in your collection. Now, when you look at this particular article, there are some, okay, you realize that we have some arrows over here. Those are greens arrow. And we also have some arrows that are what's blue. Now we are saying that uh, the green arrows basically means that this study has a relation to this particular study. Um, this study has a relation to this particular study. Moreover, this study has a relation to this particular study. But this study, you realize that um, it's showing a blue arrow. So there's a relation between this study and this study. And also there's a relation between what this study and what this study. So sometimes some people will like to, oh, okay, I have this article. So they would like to find out, oh, I want to know related works um, actually uh, that has been done around this uh, title per se, uh, looking at the article. So with this, you realize, that, okay, this study, when I look at the map, okay, it has a relation to this, it has a relation to that, it has a relation to this, it has a relation to this too. So you can go ahead and click on it and get more information about this and go ahead and download the what articles. Okay, all right. Now, what we have over here has no relation. There has not been any earlier work attached to this particular, um, this news that we have or this uh, collection that we do have. All right, now let's click on later work. Okay, all right. So um, when you click on later works to, okay, so we have earlier works as demonstrated earlier on. Okay, so it's like my graph is delaying. Okay, later works will also show the same thing, but um, let's quickly jump to the similar way. Uh, all right, so, okay. So it's populating something, all right. So that's what you are seeing over here. So let me just zoom in. Okay, all right. So you move, uh, let me just expand this. Okay. So what do you see over here? Let me just zoom in some more. All right. Let me just close it. Okay, good. So what do you see over here? Uh, when you click on this, okay, let me close this one. You see some lines in there as demonstrated earlier on for the first one. Let me zoom in a little bit. Oh, become bigger. All right. So you see that we have some lines. This one is related to this one. Now let's try and let's see. Um, I'm trying to navigate around this one. Okay, good. So you see this one, okay. The green one, these are the ones in your collection and you see the arrow. This particular um, work is related to this one. It's also related to this one. This is also related to this. Uh, so that's how the diagram is being um, that's how you can read the, the network diagram. All right. Now, this one is the total, the total uh, network diagram for what we search for. However, you can do it by um, clicking on an individual um, collection. Okay. So we can decide to, so let me close this one. Let me close this one. Okay. So this individual uh, information so when I click on this, how to maintain employee motivation among the COVID-19 virus pandemic, we have similar work that is 57. And uh, so far it has gotten uh, just only one citation. If it is uh, open access, you can go ahead and just download it. All right. So you can check, let's say this one to, let's click this one. Okay. We have 473 similar work. We also have uh, 21 uh, references so far and also um, a citation. So that's pretty good. So if you want to know um, the uh, works that is being uh, related to this particular one, like similar what has been done around this particular work, oh, it looks similar to this work. You can go ahead and click on similar work. Okay, so once you click on similar work, um, yeah, so that is the map that you are seeing over there. So all these are the similar works. All these are the similar works. So all these are the similar works. So if you are interested in them, you can just um, click on any. Okay, so let's say emotional intelligence and whatever, job satisfaction and organizational commitment, effective. You can just go ahead and click on any to so realize that this one, when I, when I clicked on this one, um, 
it's not actually free. It's not an open access. But you realize that uh, it has gotten 1,906 similar work. Yes, 1,906 similar work. So this, uh, the research rabbit uh, will actually help you to build a collection of uh, literature. So you actually know that, okay, um, this particular team um, that this article is uh, having, I can get, let's say, um, a lot of articles around this team. So it's like research rabbit will help you to build your team effectively because with respect to any article that you click, it gives you, okay, we have similar work for this one, uh, 1,554 similar work or references that is 79 and also all citations that is what, 216. It gives you a graphical view. And therefore, if you want to progress to download more articles, based on what you are seeing over here, because they are similar, because it has also been referenced, it has also been cited, we just go ahead and we click on them and it will show you that, oh, okay, so these are the information. Now, if you feel like uh, whatever you are clicking is actually pretty good and um, they were not actually part of your uh, first collection that we did, you can just go ahead and click on add to employee motivation. So this particular one, if I go ahead and click on add to employee motivation, it will be added to my collection. Yes. So um, this is just the basic of uh, research rabbits and uh, we are going to do more with this. Uh, we will move deeper in our subsequent tutorial. So just subscribe to it, you like the YouTube channel and hey, always come back to watch our tutorial series. Thank you. Thank you very much.